Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I want to show you how I polish chrome bumpers. Chrome bumpers, you know, chrome back in the early 2000s it seemed like it was everywhere. Then all of a sudden it kind of disappeared. Manufacturers went to all plastic bumpers, painted bumpers, but holy crap, have you seen the new Chevy Silverados? I think GM has got stock in chrome because everything on the front of that truck is completely chrome. And as a professional detailer, I can wash the car, I can dry it, I can shoot some spray wax on the chrome, make it look nice. If there's any water spots, I can remove those. But sometimes I want to polish them. I really want to make them pop. And sometimes I want to over-deliver to my customer. I'm going to show you how I polish chrome. I'm not going to be worried about the plastic above or below. Some guys might tape that up. They might grab a dual action polisher. Maybe they grab a microfiber cutting pad or a polishing pad and put some compound on it and do it. I want to get to the punch. I work in the real world and I want to make these things absolutely pop and my customers are going to love me. So what I do, I use a tool and I use it in so many different ways. In fact, as we go forward, once I show you this tool, you're going to go, oh, I've seen that thing. But I use that tool in areas that most people wouldn't even think about. I actually use it on the interior of vehicles. And when you see it, you're going to go, no way, Scott. How do you do it? Where do you do it? Well, we're going to get to it. Maybe a little bit later on down the road, I'll show you some of my tips and tricks. I've, I'm always thinking outside the box. I want to help you guys out. But, you know, I've done a great job of releasing my ego out of my own body. Maybe my ego at the moment saying, no, no, don't give these all these secrets away. But we'll get there, I promise you, at some point in time. I'll show you how I use it on the interior. But I want to clean up this chrome first, right? I got some bug guts on this, whatever, dirt, grease, and grime. So what I'm going to do, you guys have seen me use this stuff before many times. I talk about it all the time. This is Citrol citrus orange degreaser i'm just going to put some in a little bit of a microfiber applicator pad and i'm going to go in here and just kind of clean up that chrome i'm going to get rid of any bug guts that may be on it I'm going to get any tar that might be on that chrome I'm going to get it all off there right or that's at least the the purpose of using this stuff so i'm going to go in there i've released all the dirt I've released all the bug guts, any little tar that could have been on there is completely gone. I've kind of prepped the surface to polish it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mop up after myself, right? We've got to get that stuff out of the way. So I'm going to take, can you see what I'm going to use? Nope, i got it hidden out of the camera. Okay, so I'm going to go in and just simply mop up after myself on the citrus, uh, citral, citrus orange degreaser. Mop up after myself. Chrome is starting to look halfway decent now, but boy, it needs to be polished. So I'm going to go in there and polish it, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Again, I'm not going to tape off the plastic. The tool I'm going to use is not going to harm the plastic. It's not going to burn through it. I'm not worried if I get a little bit of a polish on it because the citral citrus orange degreaser will take it right off the plastic instantly if I happen to get some on it. But what I'm going to do and what I'm going to show you because Chrome is all over the place I'm going to use this flitz ball, these polishing balls, right, or buffing balls, whatever flitz calls them. These things are incredibly effective. I can't imagine not having it in my arsenal. Chrome is coming back and it's coming back in a big way. This is a quick, easy way to polish chrome without breaking out a dual action polisher, hooking up a three inch pad on the backing plate, you know, on the machine, whatever you want to do. I'm not telling you not to do it. If that's working in your world, that's fine. But working in the real world, I want to get to the punch and I want to get there quickly. So what I'm going to use is the flitz polish that goes in conjunction. Is that a word? Con yeah, well, conjunction is a word, but does it apply? I think so. This is flitz. This is their metal polish. You can use it on metal, plastic, fiberglass. You can even use it on the clear coat of the vehicle to remove light scratches. It's about 6,000 grit. In the United States, anything about 6,000 grit or less doesn't get classified as an abrasive if I'm correct, and I think I am but it's got just enough cutting power. It also leaves behind some beeswax if you're really interested and that floats your boat. It leaves some beeswax behind for some type of protection on the metal. Cool, I don't overthink it, that's wonderful. But all I'm gonna do is take this flitz polish, or this, uh, yeah, this flitz polish. I'm gonna put a couple dots on this, on, this, on this chrome bumper. Be careful, right, don't scratch it. This little container's made out of metal. Then what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to rub that polish in because when you're using the flitz ball you don't want to sling this product out so I'm just going to take my hand 
and just lightly rub the polish into the chrome with my gloves on, right? Somebody's always saying to me, Scott, wear gloves. We're so worried about you. Well, I, I worry about you guys too, and I love you. Thanks for being worried. So I'm going to rub that in and just get it on the chrome there lightly. Maybe use too much in that little area, but that's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll work through it. But there you go, I've got the polish on there. When you're using this flitz ball, you want to make sure when you go in to pick up that polish, you run this ball slowly to pick up the polish and let it absorb into the wheel, and then you ramp up your speed. If I went in there full blast right now, you guys probably get the picture. It's going to be all over me, all over the camera. But here I go, I'm just going to go in lightly and pick up that polish, and then you'll see me speed up. I just have to laugh because that is one fantastic quick way to polish chrome and get a mirror-like finish. Why somebody's messing with the DA polisher, I always have this connected to my corded drill. It's already, it's always ready to go. I'm not worried about the plastic. I put some uh, polish on there, but that's cool for my finger. I'm not worried about the plastic. This doesn't get hot enough. It doesn't spin fast enough. It won't burn through the plastic or leave any I don't know what you want to call it. It's not going to melt the plastic. It's not a big concern. I can go in here and get in tight areas with it. And what I'll do is I'll slightly kind of pick up any excess polish if there is some. Again, flitz polish, leave some beeswax behind. But I'm just going to go in, lightly go over the surface, kind of like I'm removing a paint sealant or a wax. Folks, that is one of the fastest ways to make chrome pop to make your customers love you if you want to over deliver. Again, it's one thing to clean them, wash them, dry them, remove the butt guts off them. But if you're trying to over deliver for your customer and you don't want to go crazy, pulling out machines, cutting pads, compounds, taping up plastic, that is the best way in my opinion. I can't imagine not having the tool in my arsenal to be able to make chrome pop and just look fantastic. I'll bring you in here, okay? Let's turn this little thing over here so I can see. There's the chrome there, right? Look at that mirror finish. You can see my, look at my sexy leg and sneaker, huh? That's pretty cool. Then if we just come around the corner here, there's the nasty chrome filled with bug guts, all nice and dull. I can literally clean this bumper of all the bug guts with my citral, citrus degreaser, go all the way down the bumper, clean it all up, remove the residue from the citral, put some polish on the bumper and get in there and get this type of finish. To me folks, that's impressive, that's gorgeous. People in the real world are gonna look at that and go, holy crap Scott, thank you so much, that's absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'm not worried about the plastic. If I get any polish on there, the citral citrus degreaser, I can just wipe it right off and it will take it right off. It's not only citrus based but it's oil based it will eat polish right off the plastic if you happen to get some on it not a big deal address it immediately but there you go that's how i polish chrome bumpers and do it fast and get mirror like finish i hope that helps you guys out that flitz polishing ball holy crap get it what is it 25 30 bucks it'll last forever you can machine wash it don't throw it in the dryer let it dry on its own but it just works wonders in my world and i wanted to share it with you 
Hope that helps you guys out. Love you guys. Take care. Be safe.